Hello everybody, welcome to our Sun Goku Dynasty Survival Guide. We are making a building that I have been wanting to make for a very long time. The Tailor's Workbench, because there's a surprising like number of materials and items that this particular building makes. So, so excited that we have it. Uh, now, if you are looking forward to getting this as well, you might be wondering, okay, well, what do I gotta do to get this blueprint? There's actually two ways to unlock the Tailor's Workbench. The first is to reach Dynasty. Dynasty level 9, excuse me, which is uh, what I did. I had to I basically like invited a bunch of people <laughs> to my village because I was just like, I got to get there. So um, that's what I did. Or you can also buy the blueprint. I think it's like 600 coins. Uh, so it's a little bit on the expensive side, but not too bad if you're like selling like iron ore, for example. Uh, and um, I have found the recipe in the village of Segi, Segi, uh, we'll talk to the villagers there the merchants there and it's very likely that one of them will have uh the blueprint for you so that's another way to do it as well now to build this guy uh for the foundation you will need 10 logs for the floor you're looking at 10 planks uh when it comes to the exterior we've got uh these things here you're gonna need like uh in total 34 sticks four planks of any type and then 20 planks of conifer the four planks of any type are going to be like these little half walls right here and then the rest of this is going to be the plank uh the conifer planks so make sure you guys got uh, those all set and ready to go for the roof we have four stones six sticks two logs and then eight uh planks again of any type and then there's only one little furniture uh piece that you have to make here which is always nice uh, and you will need uh three fur five straw two logs and then four planks of any type and the fur is gonna obviously gonna be like maybe the hardest part uh i would definitely say uh if you have a hunter's uh hut here uh made and stuff and um, maybe have a vill your villager just get a little bit of fur uh, so you can get that that you, you know that you need. Otherwise, you can make some uh, hair crates, um, like that little hair traps, basically. And while fur is not guaranteed to spawn there, it is a possible way to do that. Otherwise, you might want to just go hunting yourself. Um, pretty easy. Just make sure you have the fur collector uh, perk unlocked. And to do that, we'll see. I believe it's in warrior yeah right here it's in way of the warrior have the fur hunter unlocked so basically skidding animals provides fur so it's what you need to get that but once you have all that you know just build it all in uh for total here if you want to have all your resources ready to go from the start you will need 14 logs 26 planks of any type uh 40 sticks 20 planks of conifer type four stones three fur and then five straw so that is uh all you need right there now when you are finished building this workshop two things two recipes get unlocked the first is rope which is one of the things that i've been looking for so yay rope uh and then you also get like the taylor's workbench which is just like this little guy uh you have that workstation unlocked for whatever reason do what you will with that i guess uh now when it comes to working there's quite a few things that your villagers can make we have accessories now like the straw cloak which is useful for like kind of just defending yourself against you know like rain and cold and all that there's a number of clothing items that you can make now too and you can see that like by and large as long as you have the money you can unlock these recipes with the money which is pretty fun so you can kind of just get started with that there's a bunch of hats there's masks there's some outfits like monk clothes which is pretty cool looking and then obviously we have these a few of these unlocked already because of our quests or because of our uh, progression through the main quest um and obviously we have that we've got shoes we have for those farmers out there which includes myself uh, the ability to make seed bags here which i'm very excited for that's honestly what i wanted this so badly for was this and the rope uh and then we also have obviously the water uh, fields there's our rope and then there's our straw so those are different things that you can make in here and then to assign your villager we'll just click go to our dynasty our jobs we'll scroll down to taylor uh basically we have here uh, the things that we need for most of these you just need to make sure that you have like the 
ingredients that you need to make these items and then they will make it for you when it comes to like these seed bags however you are going to make sure that you have some knives for your villagers to use so just pop them in the general storage uh, then you can assign it uh, to this little workstation and your villagers will use that so that is about it I'm probably gonna get some villagers assigned to this making something or other uh, but that is the tailor's workshop so glad I have it uh, it's a little bit different from its previous version the uh, the resources a little bit different I think the items we can make are a little bit different as well but that's about it I think the rope especially because I think rope used to be in the far the fisherman's hut i think maybe i'm wrong on that but that's what i that's why for a reason that's what i remember but anyway that is that is the the new the new taylor's workshop thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next one until then keep surviving and keep thriving